Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you're watching this. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas to those of you that are celebrating. Uh, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever. Happy Festivus for the rest of us, as you might remember from the old Seinfeld show. It's deep, it's early in the morning here in the middle of nowhere. It's not as cold as it's been, but it's still Christmas morning. So I'm up, I've taken care of the first two S's, and we're going to do the third. We're going to be using, as a soap and an aftershave, Christmas Past. We're going to go Christmas Past today. And the reason we're going to go Christmas Past today is because what we're going to be shaving with is a little bit of Christmas Past. This is a 1921 new improved gold double edge safety from Gillette. It's got a little bit of wear. I've cleaned it up, sterilized it, of course. But she looks pretty. All those Christmases, all the stories that this would be tell would be really interesting if it could talk. You might be wondering what it is that I'm wearing today. Well, this is a vintage Christmas and past. Austin Ice Bats Christmas Game Jersey. Let me back up so you can get the full effect. In order to enter, it's the old thing from Monty Python. You must bring us a shrubbery. So, we'll bring a shrubbery. One second. Apologize for the pause. A little technical difficulty with the camera and phone. So, anyway, I've also been picked up. Uh, Silky Smooth's secret ingredient. So I'm going to follow his directions. One, two, three drops of the secret ingredient. Don't ask. The man doesn't even know how he does it, as Silky likes to say. So, and don't you forget it. Silky, Merry Christmas. Let's see if it does anything. Interesting here. Ooh, look at that. Nice lather. It's a little, a little thick. I'm going to add a little bit of water to the secret ingredient. There we go. And I gave my son his Christmas present yesterday. And that, hang on a second. Getting my nice warm towel. Ooh, nice warm. A razor. From the year he was born. Nineteen eighty-six. I was able to find one in excellent condition. So I'm gonna send him down this proverbial rabbit hole of wet shaving. I'm also doing the same thing for my son in law and my cousin Mike. So, as I said, I've taken care of the first two of the S's. Let's get to the third. Let's get to the shave. I'm a little excited about using this Gillette today because of the history that it probably holds. And I'll 
show it to you a little bit more before we start to rake the today here. Because we got to look good for mass. There's a bit of a, a blade there, so this is even somewhat aggressive, it looks like. It's got a bit of an open, open comb. And there is some overhang. But hey, let's see what happens. Shall we? Put a little water on there. And let's show you. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that master blade in here. It's got two shaves on it. Lots of people are traveling. For this holiday. I know I got some text from my friends back east that it's real cold. And people that are flying are running into some weather issues. I hope you, if you flew, you got to where you want to go. If you're flying today or traveling today, hope you don't have any travel issues. This piece of history, not as aggressive as I thought it would be. I don't feel a lot of tugging and pulling. It's a three-piece design, just to let you know. Gives a nice feedback if you're passing through. Let's get some water on the face, see how we did. Not terrible. Not terrible. We'll definitely need at least one more pass. These brushes from PAA really hold on to the lather, I tell you. Got a little, a little late last night finishing the wrapping with the presents. And finally hit the hay. Probably at about five minutes to 12. Just before
say the sort of his one. Here in Texas, because I know he was elsewhere through the magic of the reindeer. And yes, I still believe in Santa Claus. Is that one? Several St. Nicholas's. And lots of different stories about St. Nicholas. One of my favorites, of course, is about the St. Nicholas that punched the heretic bishop at one of the councils back in the early days. Did you leave milk and cookies out for Santa last night? Since I was doing Santa, I had the milk and cookies, actually milk and coffee. Second pass complete, let's see how we did. Let's do one more pass, get a nice, nice smooth Christmas Day shape, shall we? You know, I gotta tell you, since I started doing wet shaving, my blood pressure has dropped even more. I made a lot of nice friends. And the wet shaving community is friendly, generous to a fault, great people. I love all of you. Thank you for being who you are. We got guys. That share a lot of knowledge. We got Sinatra Lennon. We got Geo Fat Boy. Mantic 59. Heavy hitters in the video realm. We got Earl. Earl D. from North Carolina. 
scan H. All the folks out at PAA, wet, wet the face. Every shade of better. Buddy, hope you're doing well. Robert over at Robert Shaves. The list goes on. You're all wonderful people. And I'm honored to call you friends and brothers in the white shaving world. So. <clears throat> I know sometimes my voice drops. And hopefully you'll be able to hear everything. I do apologize. Let's do a final rinse and then a cold water rinse. And we'll hit everything else. Feels pretty good. Get the Allen block. Some cold water on that. Hmm. Surprising. A little bit of sting spots. Not terrible, not terrible. We'll let this dry off a second. Do the bat in the bat jersey. Feels pretty good. Cold water rinse. Mystery Santa person, whoever brought that to the Yankee Swap yesterday, thank you. And now we've got some Christmas past aftershave. It's got a regulator cap on it. Nice, very nice. I like the scent on this. Very, very nice. There's a toss up between this and using Vespers this morning, but uh, with the razor and everything, Christmas pass one out. Well, we're just about done. If shaving's not part of your, one of the most exhilarating parts of your day, you might be doing something wrong. I do want to leave you with a bit of a poem. Uh, my former pastor back in New York, Father Tom, would always end Christmas Day Masses with this. It's a poem from an unknown author. My gift to you, Merry Christmas. Thou shalt know him when he comes, not by any din of drums, nor his manners, nor his airs, nor by anything he wears. Thou shalt know him when he comes, not by his crown or by his gown, but by the coming known shall be, by the holy harmony 
which is coming makes in thee. Be good to yourselves and to each other. Merry Christmas.